What's up, y'all? Howdy, 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 haw. Welcome to your collective reading for October 20th of 2023. How are you guys feeling? It's good to see you guys today. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are ready for the weekend. Hope you guys had a beautiful, blessed week. We're going into the weekend, and I'm expecting more blessings for you. Absolutely. More good news coming in. Positivity. I hope you guys have the best weekend ever. And um, yeah, we have a specific collective. Pieces of this collective came to me yesterday, but then I got more of it today. Um, and basically, it was telling me this is somebody you haven't talked to this person. Like they kind of disappeared, went silent on you, and you're confused because everything was perfect the last time you guys saw each other, the last time you guys talked. So you're really like confused as to what happened. Did you do something to turn this person off? Are they dealing with somebody else? You just have a lot of questions right now because you have a lot of feelings for this person. Some of you feel like this person is the one, right? Some of you feel like they're your soulmate. Um, you feel like it was destiny. And for a lot of you, it was destiny. However you met, it was definitely faded. But this person has just gone quiet. So you're just a little confused. So we're going to get some answers. But what I did get when I was meditating, um, some of you, this person freaked out because of their feelings. They backed up. Especially if this is somebody younger, they're immature, so they might have just kind of, their feelings just, they weren't, you know, they, they just pulled back. Some of you, this person has never felt this way before for anybody. Some of you, they've never even been in a serious relationship. I don't know who this is for. Or, you know, they never, ooh, that popped out. Anxiety. Mmm. Do you see what I'm saying? It says fear. I'm sorry, it says stress, depression, panic attacks, and restless. Some of y'all have been really stressed about this. But I feel like this is your person. I feel like this is your person. They've been restless over you. They can't get you off their mind. So for some of you, they may have even try to like find somebody else, like to replace you, but... I, I heard very strongly that this person is realizing that your energy, your vibration, who you are, what you're bringing is irreplaceable. They, may, they can maybe find people with a similar body to yours, do what you do for a career, attractive like you, your same height, your same weight, whatever. It ain't you. It ain't you. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, and didn't I just say fear? I literally just said fear. I said fear. And it is really anxiety, but it says afraid, uneasy, suspicion, and scared. This person is terrified because they have feelings for you. It scares them. Maybe this person didn't want to catch feelings for anybody. Some of you, they're in school or they're working on their craft. They're trying to focus on that, right? Regret. With third party, yeah. Some of y'all, maybe they tried to deal with somebody else. And if they did... They regret it because this person ain't you. Just like I said, they may have tried to replace you. But something about this person realizing that you're irreplaceable, okay? It says mistake, guilt, wrong choice, and apology. So they feel guilty for not talking to you. The grass is greener with ghosted on the bottom. Some of y'all, maybe this person was like, I could find better with the grass is greener. Some of you are feeling that way, like, yo, I can find somebody else that can, you know what I mean, be consistent with me. Because at the end of the day, that's what you want. You want consistency. You know, um, it says unhappy, deserves better, better option. Date here. This is somebody you've been dating. You could have went out on a date. They are single. I am seeing that. So there's no hidden marriage, no girlfriend, boyfriend on the side. Reconciliation. So you and this person are going to come back together. It's just annoying that you guys have had this time. Somebody's name is Trisha. Trisha, Tiffany, Tyrell, Tyrone, Tyrone. Divine intervention. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say that the divine brought y'all together? Didn't I say it was orchestrated? However you met this person, it was literally fate. I don't know how you met them. Everybody's situation is different. I just heard something about a store. Some of you, it was a store, public transportation, um, online. Some of you, this person get a lot of messages, a lot of DMs, and some of you, you do too. But something about you stood out to this person. But they got anxiety and fear, whoever this is. 
Some of you, they don't know what you're doing. If you're dating other people, because some of you, this person feel like you can do better than them. They may have some self-esteem issues. Let me see that grass is greener. Jealousy is here. You may not even know it, but you make this person very jealous. <laughs> Third party, again, the soulmate. Told you, some of you, they thought they was gonna find somebody else. <laughs> oh my God. And I know it's, it, that may annoy some of you, but I feel like they did that because for some of you, it's like something with their mind. Like maybe they felt like, I'm tripping. I'm not in love. I'm not catching feelings. There's nothing special about this person. I got to go out. Let me see. Because I know there's somebody else I can have a connection with. I can connect with like this. Like some of you, they intentionally try to find somebody else because they can't believe this connection with you. They're like, no. But I feel like if they try to deal with somebody else, I feel like they realize that they feel you are the better option. That's not for all of you. Because it says third party, interference, cheating, competition, and mistress. It could be a lot of competition for this person's attention. Shit, comp competition for your attention too. But with soulmate on the bottom, it says twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, past lies. It's just something about this connection with you that's different. Some of y'all, they may have had the third party don't even have to always mean another love interest. Some of you, they had somebody else in their head, like telling them, nah, you could do better than the collective. You can do better than that. You can get somebody, you know what I mean? Who's younger, who's older, who's this, who's that. Keep your options open. For some of you, they could have had like a friend, a relative, somebody telling them, man, you don't need to be in love right now. You need to do this, you need to do that. Fucking, what's this anxiety proposal? You see what I'm saying with secret crush? This person is fronting. Love offer engagement agreement wish come true. Some of you, you may have made some type of love offer towards this person and it scared the shit out of them. If you did, maybe you said, listen, I got feelings for you. I want to be with you. Let's take this to the next level. It scared the shit out of this person. Others of you, they want to make you some type of love offer, but it literally says wish come true on this card. So I feel like you are what this person wanted and everybody don't take it the same way. Like some, some people feel like, oh yeah, as soon as you meet somebody, yeah, y'all supposed to just move in, fall in love and live happily ever after. Everything is perfect. And it's lollipops and candies after that. No, that's not how it usually goes. On the bottom, you got secret crush, admirer, attraction, suitor, butterflies. You, got, you give this person butterflies, boy, and it scares the hell out of them. What is this regret card? Soulmate again. <laughs> Telling you this person, they miss you when you're not when they're not talking to you. I don't care how long you haven't talked to this person, they miss you. Somebody could be a Leo. This person knows you're their soulmate. <laughs> they know they've never felt anything else like it before. What's the date card? Courting, dating, anniversary, meetup. You about to see this person? Some of y'all, you gonna go out to eat, mask. This person wears a whole mask with you. Hidden motive, disguise, conceal, lying. Some of y'all, they haven't even told you how they truly felt. Faded meeting, didn't I say that? Faded meeting, I said that. Show me the reconciliation. You two were definitely brought in each other's lives for a reason. Between the lines and new love. You ain't, this person ain't never felt like this before. Some of you, they scared you're going to meet somebody else. It says honeymoon phase, childlike, moving on, and new beginning. So I feel like it's going to be like a new beginning for you and this person. But it's like with the between the lines car, it's been frustrating because a lot of y'all feel like you have to like, just like pulling teeth to figure out how this person fucking feels. Why are they so fearful? What's the fear card here? Single with snake oh they have a fear that they can't trust you they have a fear that you're lying you're going to deceive them you're not who you really say you are it says single alone isolated lonely and guarded <laughs> somebody's name is irene this person is straight up maybe they dealt with a snake before somebody who pretended 
and it could make this person be like, yo, from now on, I'm just not going to catch no feelings. Like they have a fear here that you are deceiving them, that you're going to turn into an enemy. I don't know why. Maybe this person dealt with a lot of snakes. They wear a mask with you. If this is resonating, make sure you guys hit the like button. Subscribe, comment, share, tell a friend. It's good to see all of you on this beautiful Friday. I love you all so much. And if y'all want a personal reading, you can email MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. I've been so booked this week for personal readings. I've been doing readings every single day for this past week. Over a week. And I'm not complaining. I'm happy. But I've had so many readings. This is the most I've ever had. So thank you guys for that. Thank y'all for trusting me with your energy. I love y'all so much. And make sure y'all hit that email. My assistant is amazing. He will get back to you quick. And he will let you know how you can book a reading with me. Yeah. So what else is going on between you and this person? This person here. Free yourself. Yeah, some of y'all stop stressing about this so much. Um... Because some of y'all, like, it's, it's really getting to you emotionally. Hidden agenda with they adore you. Some of y'all feel like this person got a hidden agenda. What did they do? Why are they doing this? They feel like you got one. Y'all got to trust each other more. Y'all got to build up trust. Date, flirt, play with just for fun. And then you got power couple on the bottom. So maybe it started off as just a flirting thing, a playful thing, something for fun. And this person started seeing like, yo, me into the collective, we can actually have a relationship. We can actually be powerful together. The trust card is here. I just said y'all have to build trust with self-love. You continue to practice self-love. Open up. This person gonna start opening up with honest conversations here. Some of you, you got them to open up and that scared them. Maybe this person is usually on lock like this card here with their feelings and you got them to open up and it scares the shit out of them. True love. You are not crazy. One more card. You're not crazy. Short term connection and not for you. Mm. Some of y'all feel like, is this a short term connection? Is this person for me? Something happened with a short-term connection. It's not this person. Some of y'all, maybe you dealt with somebody else before them and it was like short-term and you realize it's not for you or some of you are realizing here that you want something long-term. Something about you thinking or they thinking that this was gonna be short-term. Mm, but not for you is here. So I feel like a lot of you, you damn sure don't want no short-term connection. And if somebody did try to approach you with that, you don't want that. Let's see what's going on with you and this person. Much love to all the members, Patreoners. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for all your Amazon gifts. I updated my Amazon wish list. Make sure you guys check it out. The link is below. Let me know what you think of the new stuff. Your girl's birthday is coming up on the 31st. I can't wait. I'm excited. And make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Miss Hawaii. Tarot, Miss Hawaii Tarot, Miss Hawaii Tarot. Show your girl some love. And let me know what y'all having for dinner in the comments. You know I'm nosy. I like to know what y'all having. I'm back to my turkey sandwich and salad, my little healthy stuff. I didn't like my dinner last night. My chicken breast I made. I don't know. I wasn't excited about it. All right. What's going on? Angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. What is the energy here? about between you and this person. How do they feel about you? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse popped out. Some of y'all, this could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Shit, that could be your sign as well. Oh my God, the Queen of Cups, first card out. This person loves you. This is actually a very sweet, caring, kind person. Whoever they are. They could be a water sign, right? This is like one of the most loving people in the tarot deck. I feel like you also been really, really kind to this person and sweet. You showed them a different type of love. Like, they're like, yo, the collective, like, you're really sweet. Like, some of y'all is like, they're like, you're too sweet. Like, is it real? Two of Wands with the Fool. Aries energy. This person is planning something for you and them. 
They have plans. They can see a future with you two. The four of wands. Hello. You and this person have already built something stable together. So they can go on and act stupid if they want to. Or something about you going to their house. Some of you, they may invite you to their house or something. Four of wands, two of wands. King of Swords in reverse. Somebody don't like you that's around this person. Somebody don't like you. For some of you, for some of you, this person, there's somebody could even be talking bad about you to this person. They're jealous. The Two of Swords, a stalemate. They don't know if you've let them go. I'm going to tell you right now, this person being a head just like you. They could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Three of Pentacles with the Fool again. Aries energy. Y'all definitely have built something together. And I see them. The King of Cups. Oh my God. So now we got the okay, King and Queen, bitch. Dude, y'all love each other. Y'all love each other. That's it. I'm done with you and this person. Y'all love each other. Y'all are divine counterparts. The king and queen of cups. You could be a water sign. They could be a water sign. Oh my God, the judgment. Bottom of the deck is the two of pentacles in reverse. Mm, some of y'all, this person is scared that you are done with them. Because some of you, you ain't hit them up either. And I don't blame you. Some of y'all like, no, I'm not hitting up Ronnie's ass. Some of y'all like, nah, if Ronnie want me, let him take his big stinking ass and hit me up. <laughs> Some of you, this person is busy. They may have multiple jobs. They may be travel a lot. They may travel for work. They may be a business professional. They may have a career. They may be in school. It's showing me this person is very busy. If you know you're dealing with a bum, this ain't this ain't who I'm talking about. Because this person is busy. But y'all two love each other. Judgment is like them facing it, them realizing it. You got all good cards here, except there's somebody around this person that don't like you and is talking about you with the King of Swords in reverse. And we're going to see who the hell that is. Could be a parent of theirs. It could be an uncle, an aunt, a cousin, a coworker. Whoever they are, they have some type of influence on this person. But they're jealous that this person loves you. Because I knew this wasn't your person. I knew it. So let's see this Queen of Cups here. This is deep. A lot of you, I don't know if you're the masculine or you're the feminine, but either way, this person thinks you're very emotionally mature. You guys are a match, and you guys both feel the same way about each other. So I don't know. <laughs> two, of, two of swords here right in the middle of their spread is like seven of pentacles. Wheel of fortune in reverse and the two of wands in reverse. Y'all hit a little stump here. Y'all did, but I see them could be a Sagittarius. I see them still wanting to invest in you. The Seven of Pentacles is a card about like waiting, right? What's the Two of Wands here? They planning something. They planning to see you. Some of y'all, they planning to have you come over. Four of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. Ooh. Mmm. It's like this person got a lot of options, but it's just something about you that just really stand out and they cannot shake you. With the King of Wands in reverse, I feel like they have a lot of options, but they got a lot of hoes that want them. People that are sleep around, got issues, egotistical, cocky. They like that you're humble, I'm getting. It's something about them that they cling to your energy. What's the four of wands here? Stability. Page of swords in reverse, six of pentacles in reverse, and the nine of pentacles. Believe it or not, I feel like this is one of the most stable connections this person has had. And some of you guys are like, this has not been stable. <laughs> but this person usually don't give shit in connections, like at all. I don't know who this is. They usually do not 
Some of you is because maybe when they did give, they, their energy wasn't matched. They spy on you a lot too with the page of swords in reverse. Again, this person is single. It keeps letting me know that. They got money too. Now, who is this king of swords in reverse person that's been in this person's ear about you? Temperance. You see? They're jealous that you bring this person peace. They notice that when this person, oh, you see what I'm saying? The two of cups. Somebody's jealous that this person has a connection with you. What the hell? And that you bring this person peace. Temperance is like a soulmate card with the two of cups. Somebody's jealous. They have somebody around them with a strength card. That's jealous. Something about when 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 you and this person are like, like even when they've seen you recently or they've talked to you recently, their whole demeanor is just like more peaceful, more calm. Like you give this person like, can I know more about this King of Swords in reverse? Who is this person that's around them? It's like a, it's, they're the same sex, whoever they are. Page of Pentacles, it's somebody they talk to. But I think they're realizing that what this person is saying about you and how they're judging you is a fucking lie. They're realizing that. It could be a friend of theirs. It ain't no love interest or nothing like that. It could be a co-worker. I just heard a teammate. It's like somebody, somebody here is jealous. But I feel like, like I said, your person is realizing that what they're speaking about you is not true. What's the two of swords? So they can talk until Jesus come back. They can't stop this connection that y'all have. The five of swords. They know they've been playing mind games with you. Some of you, they thought you was going to kiss their ass. They wanted, they wanted that reassurance. Like that you was going to be like up on them. Four of wands again. Twice from two different tarot decks. Look at it. I'm not making this up. Four of Wands is an excellent card to get in a love reading. Because it's about, it can be twin flame energy, it can be soulmate energy. It's about something solid between two people. They're thinking about this. With the Ace of Wands in reverse, this person has turned down a lot of people. People have really tried to have sex with this person. Like something about sex, like they attract a lot of people who maybe want to have sex with them. But this person wants so much more with the king and the queen of cups. What's this three of pentacles? They think about you a lot at work. Five of wands in reverse. Ten of pentacles. Dude. This person sees the potential with you. They do. They feel like y'all go well together. You don't stress them out. Some of you, you have a very like... You're not a nag. Like, you're not argumentative. Like, you know how some people like to fight. They like to argue, even in relationships. Some people like that. Like, I remember moms with this guy. Like, they used to argue every day. I'm like, how do you take that? Like, I could never be with somebody like that. And they were together for over 10 years. Me, I would want to kill myself. Because I need peace. You my peace, I'm your peace. We're not supposed to be arguing every day. Not saying it's supposed to be a perfect relationship. There's no such thing. But... Something about you not fighting with this person, you not coming off like mean, aggressive. Maybe they dealt with people like that. They feel like something about money too. They feel like you and them could make money together. Like you got your bread, they about theirs. What is this King of Cups here? Some of y'all, this person is a Scorpio. Scorpio! Love my Scorps now. Oh, those cards didn't want to go in. I wish I would have looked at them. The strength. Oh my God, this person. Oh my God, all these cards are popping out. We'll just hit the floor. Let's see, Scorpio. I don't know why I said Scorpio. <laughs> Knight of Wands. With the Page of Cups on the bottom. This person gonna hit you up. They've been holding back hitting you up. They trying to come off like they cool and detached. I'm gonna tell you right now, this person straight up front and could be Aries, Leo, heavy Leo, Sagittarius. They do have this side, this like side to them where they like to be free and do their own thing. But at the core of this person, they are mush and they are mush for you. Let me tell you, and it's been hard for them not to not hit you up. Like they trying to give you some type of impression that they're like, 
outfit, like somebody think it could be Arnold. The Nine of Cups, Page of Cups again. This person is gonna hit you up. Some of you there, they're like trying to learn with their emotions. It makes this person happy to love you. You make them feel good. Judgment is the realization here. They're realizing this. Something about somebody's butt. They may really like your butt. Somebody got, they like your butt. Maybe you told them you like theirs. Something about your butt. Like I'm seeing them slapping it, biting it, grabbing it, kissing it. Eight of cups. This person is realizing they have to walk away from this mindset that they have. Some of you, they have a fear of abandonment with the five of pentacles. But it's something about, they're starting to realize, maybe at first they thought you were, you were like somebody from their past, but they're realizing you're not like that. They realize that it's not right that y'all haven't talked either. It's getting to them. What's this two of pentacles in reverse? Nine of swords, you see what I'm saying? They're dropping this indecisive energy with the death in reverse, Scorpio energy again. Something about them stopping, like, being all in their head, holding things up. They're not doing it anymore. Something about them not being indecisive anymore. Maybe they were indecisive at first, but the Two of Pentacles is in reverse. It's fear. It's fear. Anything else about this person? And we're going into the extended. Oh, my God. The Queen of Wands in reverse and the Tower tried to pop out with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, some of y'all, they had a tower with somebody from their past. For some of you, somebody could have really, like, we saw the snake energy earlier. They could have really dealt with a hoe, like somebody that was a real hoe, like, and that really hurt them. So because you're very attractive, maybe they were scared. You remind them of this person. Eight of Wands. I keep telling you, you're going to hear from this person. With the Two of Swords, again, they want to talk to you so bad. Some of you, there's going to be travel involved. You're going to hear from this person. We're not even in the extended yet, and it's telling me that. The Sun! Dude, with the Ten of Cups, I'm done with you. I'm done with you and this person. I'm done with you and this person. Could be a Leo. I'm done with you and this person. This person sees how happy you and them could be. I don't care. I don't care. Some of y'all, they caught feelings before you. You don't even know that. <laughs> Some of you over here, like, especially if this is a masculine, they caught feelings before you. The same way you feel this person feels with the king and the queen of cups, and y'all are a match. Y'all are a match. Somebody was definitely talking about you to this person. I'm gonna look more into that person too in the extended, because I want to know, like, who the hell are they? <laughs> like, I mean, it could be a life coach. I don't know. It could be whoever they are, is they coming off like they're miserable? Maybe they're lonely, and they think they want this person to, like, you know, people be crazy. Like, you never know people's true motives and intentions, you know? Like, you ever know for somebody to try to talk you out of something? And the only reason why they're doing that is because they're jealous. They don't have it. Numerous things. Numerous things. But there's a hater around this person. I don't know if they showed them your pictures and they got jealous. It's the same sex, though. It's not like somebody they're talking to. It's like a cousin, a relative, a friend, a co-worker. Somebody who they talk to often. That popped out, that last one. So I can't wait to see what that last card is because um, that flew out. I don't know if you saw that, but let's go into the extended now. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love all of you. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment, share. All right, show your girl some love. Email Readings at gmail.com if you want a personal reading and make sure y'all follow me on TikTok and uh, uh, Instagram, Miss Hawaii Tarot. And I appreciate all of you, your love and your support. I will see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you next time. Y'all have a blessed weekend. Miss Hawaii loves you. I'm always praying for you. And um, shout out to the members and the Patreoners once again. Y'all got videos coming this week. I'm excited about that. All right. You guys enjoy your weekend. Stay blessed. Keep your head up. Keep a smile on your face. And know that you are protected. I'll see you guys in the extended.
If not, see you next time. Spirit fingers. Bye. I love y'all.